Well, just going to do a quick video here talking about this K4900 and the idiosyncrasies of this particular revision. As you can see, the game is operating, I'm the game, I'm sorry, the monitor and chassis, everything is running and working and looking beautiful. Uh, it was working prior when I first, this is one of the ones I recently got on the monitor hall out of Oklahoma City a month or so ago. I'm finally getting around to going through all these and this was actually working fine prior to me working on it. I powered it up and it worked. Uh, but it had some partial collapse, it just needed some caps and reflow. So I did a full cap kit, full reflow, full inspection, everything turned out great. And it looks and works beautiful. However, it's got this mod here on the side. And at first I thought this might have been the uh, K4915, the medium res version of the 4900, but it's actually a K4914. And this is a very rare version of the K4900. I've, this is the first one of these I've ever seen in 15 years of working on monitors. And it turns out that this mod here has a couple of wires coming off the side and going right to the, it's soldered right to the, the legs there of the HOT. Uh, you can see, or well, maybe you can't, let me come around this side. Uh, let's spin this and see if maybe we can look at that. Uh, it's hard to see on here. Uh, there we go, okay. So there's two black wires there, uh, soldered to the legs of the HOT, and they run right to this bank of capacitors with a diode there, and then there's this coil slash inductor assembly, uh, and then underneath that is a little adjustment potentiometer. And you can kind of see it there, there's a little, uh, get out of here you stupid sticker, okay. There's a little gray adjustment potentiometer on the on the uh, the underside of that coil, and it turns out that adjusting that will add extra width. It's an extra width control, so you have your standard horizontal width coil right there, and then this is a, an actual uh, supplementary horizontal width adjustment, which makes sense because it's wired into the HOT. So, there are games such as Moon Patrol, and I think uh, Rolling Thunder. There's a couple of games that came from the factory with the Wells Gardner 4900. And those particular games had much smaller res resolution than a standard JAMA game like this. Like Moon Patrol, if you take a standard regular K4900 and put it in a Moon Patrol, you'll have like three inches of black on each side and no amount of adjustment on the... Uh, horizontal width coil will make it fill the screen. You have to end up changing out the horizontal um, width cap. But I have a theory. I couldn't find any documentation on the K4914. I found out that this is a 4914 from scouring the internet. Uh, the medium resolution 4900 is a 4915, but the then there's a, a 4914, which is what this is. So we have a 4914 is a standard res, and 4915 is the medium res. Uh, but I've never seen a 4914 because this is the first time I've ever seen one of these with this mod. And my theory is, I can't find any documentation online that confirms it, but my theory is because of games like Moon Patrol and I think uh, Rolling Thunder that have a much smaller horizontal resolution and the 3-inch gap on each side, because of games like that, Wells Gardner released a special version of the 4900 to put in games like that to counteract that problem. Uh, I'm. If I was a betting man, I'd say that's what the purpose of this mod is. So I wanted to document this. There was I didn't make a video on it because all it needed was caps and a reflow, normal stuff. There wasn't anything really wrong with it. But I wanted to document. If you ever come across one that has this mod here, it's what's known as a K4914, and this little adjustment wheel, uh, this little adjustment potentiometer on the bottom side of this coil. If you turn that, that will give you that will actually give you extra width for your game. So, yeah, it's very interesting. I've never seen this before. I wanted to document this, so uh, we all learn something new every day, and hopefully it helps you out. I know it was interesting to me to find this out. I was like, hey, I got a medium res 19-inch uh, uh, 4900. So I went to hook up a medium res board, and I couldn't get it to sync. I'm like, no, wait, wait a minute. Why? I thought this was medium res. Well, it turns out that it's not. This mod that I thought was a 4915 on a medium res, turns out this mod is not for the medium res. It's the 4914, and it's to allow extra width control for those games, those very odd games that have a much smaller horizontal uh, resolution. So, yeah, very interesting. So, thanks for watching, and I'm glad I could pass this on. And if you ever come across one of these, that's the explanation. So, 
And if you need extra width, uh, you can adjust that pot and get your extra width. So we'll see you next time.